डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट नाउ आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी हेयर टूडे था आई रेदर डाउट इफ आई कैन हेल्प यू वेरी मच इन योर डेलीबरेशन ऑल आई कैन डू इज टू इनकरेज यू एंड टू एक्सप्रेस द गुड विल and the earnest desire of the government to see that science flourishes in india and scientists have every opportunity to do good work my friend has surveyed the field of our work here fairly comprehensively but has been done what is being done and to some extent what he hopes will be done largely i agree with what he said a little more than 5 years ago we passed the scientific policy resolution i was reading it today and i felt that it was a good resolution if we had to sit down to draft it today probably it would not be very difficult from what we did then the question that arises now is how far have we lived up to it we have perhaps not implemented it as fully as many of us had hoped i think there is a general appreciation in india of the importance of science and technology its importance it is no doubt growing in our universities and special institutes more and more students are taking to the study of technical and scientific subject yet i do not suppose it will be true to say that the background of general thinking in india is govern the educational process and the industrial and technological changes that are coming about in the country as a matter of fact the two are closely allied there is one criticism that is often made about the financial resources that are made available for scientific work although we are now spending more on scientific work than previously it is i suppose true to say that we are rather slow moving in that direction and some of our scientific work has suffered because of lack of money some months back a committee was appointed i think with dr baba as chairman to look into this matter and to recommend what more could be done to help scientific research and also where it is possible to economize the object of that committee was really to encourage useful and profitable expenditure for scientific research we did not want merely to say that so many crores of rupees would go into scientific research but rather to have it examine how it should be done that committee so far as i know has not yet produced any report or recommendations but i wish to assure you that in spite of our very considerable difficulties at the present moment because of the emergency and for other reasons government will not hesitate to supply more funds for scientific research provided some kind of a reason approach is made it is not enough merely to say give more funds but if it is explain where more funds are required i am sure and i have in fact that been told by our finance minister that he will certainly meet such demands wherever necessary ultimately it is the 
educational apparatus behind all this that counts especially universities and specialized techni technical institutions they are growing i hope they are growing both in quantity as well as in quality and behind that again the general level of mass education is also improving during these days of emergency when very considerable defense burdens were cast upon us we decided in spite of those burdens that we must not slacken in our efforts at development because such a development was itself basic to strengthening the country any attempt to cut down on that would ultimately weaken the country in that scheme of development i attach the british importance to education some people seem to think that useful as it is education is not so important as putting up a factory i might sacrifice any number of factories but i will not sacrifice human beings and their education because it is the human being who sets up the factories and produces the things we want a factory by itself is very useful and desirable but unless it makes that impact on the human being it will not useful after all what is our purpose in life there are certainly many purposes raising the level of living and all that i would put producing good train human beings as the main purpose it is the trained human being that produces the rest if you do not have trained human beings then you get lopsided growth and you do not make such progress as you know it is not merely technology you impart to the human being but also other kinds of training which enable him think and lead what might be called a good life science is most important but it is not complete by itself unless you use the term science in a sense than mere technology